Welcome. This video demonstrates how to register the CompuPlast Virtual Extrusion Laboratory software after you have installed it on your computer. So after you've installed the software, you can go to your Start menu, All Programs, CompuPlast, and you can see here I have Virtual Extrusion Laboratory 6.6, .6, and I've recently installed Virtual Extrusion Laboratory 6.7, and when you click on the folder icon, then the actual module, the Virtual Extrusion Laboratory 6.7, becomes apparent. Now, it's sometimes easier, if you're going to be using this software frequently, to uh, pin it to your taskbar or start menu. So here you have the options to pin either to the taskbar or to the start menu. I'll just do it to the start menu here, and that will make it easier to find next time we run the software. So when we go off now, we can go to start menu, and the virtual extrusion laboratory is right here. So we can start it, and this panel comes up. We click continue, and now the available process simulation panel comes up with all the process simulations grayed out until we put our mouse over top of them and get a brief description of each of these available simulations. Now, if I click on the extrusion experts panel, that contains all the modules, and the software will open, the main panel will show up, and all the modules will be listed here, but if you notice, they all have the word demo mm -hmm. beside them. And when you see the word demo, you'll know that the software has not been registered, so you don't have full functionality uh, in the software. Now, in order to register the software, you'll need to have received a license.txt file, which will usually be within a zip file. It'll be sent as a zip file with the uh, name of the um, software uh, version and perhaps the duration of the license if it's, um, if it's not perpetual. And if you click inside here, you'll see a folder and you'll see the license.txt file. Now, you must not access this file while it is in the zip file. It's very important to go to the zip file, right click and extract here. So we extract the folder, the folder's here, and now the license.txt file is available uh, for us within that, within that folder. So take note of the location here. I have my documents, vel install, vel67 license. I can minimize that. Now go back to the main uh, module, main panel, click the show setup details, and then click the registration tab. Then you click the register package button, read the license agreement and either accept or decline it. We choose to accept it. We can proceed forward. And now this panel uh, is uh, looking for the license.txt file. So we need to direct this panel to that location. So we click here. I'll go to my libraries, my documents, move across to my vel install folder. Here's my vel67 license folder. And within that, I click on my license.txt file, click Select, and now it tells me that I must restart the Virtual Extrusion Laboratory in order for the changes to take place. I click OK. I close this, and I simply go back to my Start menu, and I open my VEL67. And now immediately you can see that the available process simulations now are, um, are a little more colorful. And if I click on, uh, click on Extrusion Experts, You'll notice that when the panel opens up, the word demo has been removed from the side of all modules. Now, it is uh, not likely that you will have licensed all of the modules in the software. So if you haven't, then the word demo will disappear from, of course, the material properties module, which everybody must license first. And then whichever other modules that you have licensed will have the word demo um, removed from them and that means that that module has full functionality. If you have any further questions, you can contact your local representative and I'm sure they'll be able to answer them for you. Thank you.